Welcome back. We made our way past the closed door in Curieville. Is it named after Madame Curie, I wonder? Like... Marie Curie? Interesting. Um... And we found this, um... Uh, sphere thingy. Which looks like some mode of transportation, considering it's on the track. Let's try it out. I'm assuming the control on the outside is, uh... I'd probably to call it if it's not here. But it is here, so... Okay, it looks like we can go to the reservoir. In transit. Oh, door shut, and there we go. We have arrived at the reservoir. Please make sure you have all your belongings. Oh, I guess he did get all of his belongings. <laughs> that was timing. Uh, can this go any further? It looks like there were more tracks. No, I can only go back to ice. All right, we don't want to go back to ice. Plenty of ice here as it is. Tracks definitely do continue, though, so... What's the point of that? Um, this is a giant hole in the floor. I cannot walk around it. What does this do? It's a lift. I guess we need to raise it. There it comes. Down we go. Very echoey down there. Okay. Um, I kind of lost my bearings now. I guess that's where he came from because the tracks were not that steep on the other side. And this, this appears to be a dead end, yes. So is that. Would definitely be a place where there would be like some random crate with stuff in it in Mass Effect. Um, but we're not playing Mass Effect. More buzzing lights. Ominous music. Um, textures? Behave yourself. Okay. I guess this is the reservoir? I don't know. Yeah, reservoirs typically are more useful when they're not frozen solid. Kind of hard to avoid here, I guess. I don't think there's any risk of falling through his ice, considering how cold this place is. If those waterfalls can freeze, then this is thick enough for me to stand on. Again. Sorry I didn't bring my ice skates. Doesn't look like we're quite at the arch yet, though. What are these structures here? Creepy eye symbol from the poster is on the flag, too. I just noticed. Okay. That doesn't seem to serve any purpose. How is it I could stare at this spire for my whole life? and never wonder what was below. 
because the box of the story we were told comforted and constrained us. The spire is important. You will return here to completely awaken the embrace. Okay. Not much of a spire, not very tall. Um, and I wasn't wondering what was below them, but uh, now I certainly am. What is the purpose of this? It's like almost looks like ritualistic. Somebody was definitely sacrificed here. It appears to be directly underneath the end of the arch too, which might hold some significance. We still can't get to the arch, though, from here. Seems like it's still kind of a ways away. Might be able to get a better view from here. It's another one of these structures on the side. Oh, there's no snow here, but there's nothing in between anyway. Oh, wow. There's, like, machinery here. What do you measure? Sound seems to be getting louder the closer we get to this arch thing. There are controls down there, but I cannot reach them. I think no matter how much uh, distance augmentation I get, we're not reaching them from here. All right. I could totally get past here, come on. I don't know if I would actually care to try that in real life, but it does look possible. I'm not here though. There's also stuff on that side. Some building over there. Not too much here, just a rock wall. Another one of these things. Which again, does not seem to serve much purpose. And the door that we can't open. Or at least I don't see a socket for it. So far we haven't had any sockets near that weren't near the thing they controlled, so I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Another door over here, and it looks like this one does have a socket. So we can open this heavy door. I don't know. I guess we'll have to believe that it's heavy. It looks heavy. At least we know that, you know, that they're not trying to tell us that the sleeping pot was dragged all the way through here, because that I would not no longer have believed. Uh, what's this, though? It's, um... Uh, nuclear bomb. That's all I can make of that symbol. I have no idea. Um, it's a building. It's about all I've got for you. Some machinery here. Oh! Looks like the tracks over there are blocked by icicles. Presumably duties of the keepers to keep that clear. Although water must have been flowing, at least at some rate. Doesn't seem to be any, not even any drops as far as we can tell, so... I don't know how long it would take for that to form. Unless there's, there could be seasons here. Maybe it's not always as cold. And then when it refroze, it blocked that. 
But with only one keeper on duty, I guess uh, she never got to clearing that. And now it's gonna be my job, I guess. What's in this building? I don't know. Looks like a factory or warehouse or something. We care for the world. We care for the equipment. We care for one another. We care for the task. We keep things maintained. We keep things clean. We keep things organized. We keep things as they are. We measure our surroundings. We maintain our purpose. We fulfill our task. We keep things as they should be kept. Alright. Feels like the Boy Scouts motto. Right there. Um, but I guess for keepers instead. Maintain the firmament. There's a staircase here, so let's go up it. eat. Now that one I can get behind. Alright, I'm off to lunch. Bye. Um, <laughs> what was that for? Were they announcing meals? That's possible, I guess. We seem to be very close to the source of that sound. You know, between these posters and slogans and the parable we read, I am definitely getting a lot of uh, socialist, communist vibes from this. Um, there's just a socket there. I was taught that the pigeon is what divides ice from liquid. Liquid from steam, steam from ice. The environment can change it. Jenna made me realize that this applies to living things as well as water. I have been changed. I'm guessing she means that living things can be changed by their environment, not that we can turn to liquid and steam. You can turn to ice, but only once. Um, anyway, there's a socket here, before I was rudely interrupted. Shoot door. Ice transport ready. Neat. I guess that lets us get on there. We'll look around f here first, though. Before we can go back and try to do the ice. So much for sockets not being near, uh, not being far from the thing they control. This one is. I guess that was done to make sure that people here, things here were ready to receive the ice. Because I'm guessing this is where it comes out, based on the fact that there, you know, a giant ice block here. Oh. Great! More... disrepair. Hey, is that a con conveyance spot down there? Anyway, I can't get past here. There is a control there, but it's out of my reach. As is there one up there? I can't even see that properly, so... Forget about that. So I guess we go back downstairs. By the way, totally missed that control the first time I played. So that took me a little bit. Um, that's just hanging off a hook. Not sure if I want to walk under there. That is a conveyor conveyance bot. Interesting. Destination added. Q 
Curieville Ace Ice Factory. Interesting. I have a feeling, maybe now, we have the Swan, but also the Curieville Bluff. And I'm assuming that if we go there... That was a lot faster. Yes, we can go here, and I'm assuming that we can also go back. Yes, Curieville Ice Factory is now added as well as the Swan, so that's what the extra destinations are for. They're not for different realms, they are for different places in the same realm. So, not linking books then. Um, do we need an interdimensional transporter to travel to a spot that's slightly, like, a slight distance away in the same, <laughs> same uh, place? Probably not, but it is convenient. I wonder what the moving energy thing, whatever that is we're looking at through the windows, is. Some energy field enveloping this while we're being transported, who knows. Oh, that's just the same thing as on the other side. Just harder to read because the pod is in the way. Okay, well, we have a little shortcut now. And we also know, thanks to that, this is an ice factory. Presumably they process ice and don't actually manufacture it. That would seem to be counterproductive here. Um, buckets. I guess that's for transporting something. Am I going to have to ride in these buckets? I just feel that, that that's going to be a thing. And the stairs just take you over the buckets, otherwise they're kind of useless. And these are the most useless stairs we've had. I guess there's supposed to be another staircase to going up here. That would have been another way for us to get to those controls up there, by the looks of it. But both of our ways are blocked. Which is not good. Looks like this at some point got wet and then refroze. This looks very slippery. Um, what's here? Kind of giant platform thing with cabs? Kind of looks like a crane or something. Oh, it does have a hook on, or grabber or something on that side, so another crane, presumably to move these ice blocks around. Maybe they just stored them here while waiting to be processed, if they had multiple of them? I don't know. Looks like we can use the crane to get into the building. Maybe that's what we need to do to get around that broken piece of walkway. How do we get into the crane, though? Looks like there's any ladders here. Uh, there's a ladder hanging out the back back of the cab, but that's definitely not long enough. I can't jump that high. This conveyor thing continues down here in the direction of uh, a dome shaped structure there and then it continues over that way as well towards the other thing we saw when we were standing up at the reservoir we saw where that ended how we're supposed to get down. I'm telling you we're gonna write this conveyor belt thing. Uh, there's a nice block underneath a bridge. 
How do we get up there? To that, where that bridge is. Doesn't look like there's a path. Nope. Maybe also the crane? I don't know. But it doesn't look like we have any way we can get into. It's kind of like rocket exhausts when they're hanging upside down. Um, doesn't look like there's any way we can get into the, uh, crane, though, which is a bit of a problem. And over here, there's something up there, a walkway and some stairs. But we're not climbing this ice block, that's for sure. More icicles that I would definitely be quite hesitant to walk under in real life. Especially with the sounds I'm hearing. Yep, that's blocked up those tracks. Good. I continue there to... We understand. Well, I'm happy someone does. Um, looks like there's another station there, like the one we stopped at over here. Actually, it looks like there's another sphere there as well. Presumably... Wait, is it is it not allowing me to go there because... The... Ice is in the way, or because the station's blocked? Not quite sure of that. No way down here either, from this side. Well, this looks like they were cutting out ice here as well. Maybe this isn't, isn't uh, maybe the other side of the crane isn't their only source of ice. And I got stuck on a crack in the floor. And another door that I don't think I can open. Unless there's a control for it elsewhere. And that's a dead end. Well then. Now what do we do? Kind of ran out of uh, ideas. Can't get to the crane, so we can't get to the top part of the factory. We can't get up on that giant ice block. We can't use the... the sphere transport thingy to get any further. Oh, but we did unlock the bottom ice chute. And it said ice transport is ready. And the sign there suggested that riding on the ice was a thing. Wait, I'm going to bet that it's going to be faster to take the <laughs> take the conveyance spot rather than walk all this way and then take the sphere thing back up. Let's do that. Make use of our new shortcut. Alright, to the bluff we go. See the outer door shutting through the crack in the inner door. It's amazing how much faster interdimensional transport is inside the same realm. Probably because it's already loaded. Okay, we can go... Wait, the bridge is down. Wait, did I do that? I thought I left it open last time. I No, I didn't. Because I had to move the ice... Uh, the crane back to here so I could get on it. So yeah, that would have auto-shut the... Or auto-lowered the bridge again.
Alright, not a problem with this particular bridge. And we opened this door so we don't have to do any more ice cube shenanigans. We just need to cross this bridge again. Good, I like raise that one too. And go down here to get back to the crane controls. Now, okay, I don't have the appropriate equipage. But I'm going to assume that because this says you can descend on the ice block, it isn't going to kill me. I'm putting a lot of trust in you here, Sign. If you end up getting me killed, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay, I think they're both open. I would say let's try and drop it without being on it before, you know, without a first to see what happens. But then I would have to go get another ice block and it would be a whole thing. It is actually an achievement to get five of them. It's a pain in the ass. I'm not doing that right now. Haven't done it yet. It's one of only two achievements I haven't gotten yet. And thankfully one of them isn't speedrunning this time. Um, Alright, well let's hope this is safe. Oh, I have to hold this. Three, two, one. I was one number behind, I don't know why. There we go. How deep will we go? I feel like this landing would be a lot less gentle um, in uh, reality. <laughs> Um, there's another ice block block in my way. Oh, this is the factory. That's the ice block we saw there. Oh. We just pushed that out of the way. And I guess it's a good thing, because otherwise we would have been stuck in there. Okay, we are down in the factory, which I guess... Yeah, that was a long way down, because we went down on the sphere transport thing. Now what? Can't go back that way. Nor can I go over here. Well, that's not helpful. Wait, I can't reach that control, though. What am I thinking? Alright. Now I can get on there. Alright. Wait, this also goes vertical. They won't let me. Can I go down from here? No. Maybe I need to go all the way forward towards the Keepers Together uh, poster. Keepers Together poster. Now where am I? Oh! This is above the broken bit of platform, is it? Oh, nope. Need to switch my controls and then go down. I get it. This is how we get across here. Wasn't using the crane after all. I'm still assuming there was supposed to be a platform there because this looks like it's just resting on top of it. Don't think this is the only way to get across under normal, fully repaired circumstances. Is this what the keepers look like? The thing she's holding almost looks more like the adjunct's original concept in uh, the technical uh, demo thing that backers had access to. Which I actually think was a little more interesting than what it ended up being, but, uh... I think maybe that 
didn't end up working out. It was kind of, it would follow you around and you could, like, in VR, you would hold up your hands to call it to you and then point at things to send it there instead of just the the click and well in VR you still kind of point at it but then you still have to pull the trigger on your controller to send it there instead of it just doing it and it doesn't follow you it's just you know something that's on your hip that you can take at any time it didn't have this base thing on your arm basically the gauntlet wasn't the thing in the the tech preview which was a little more interesting but I'm guessing they had issues with it and that's why they scrapped it Controls probably would have also gotten kind of annoying after a while, having to like hold your hand up every time you need this thing. The process is now off. Ice processor is off. Let's turn it on, I guess. Well, I'm at least happy that I wasn't on there when that happened. Oh, and the buckets are moving. We test. We test. Keepers are quality assurance. You heard it here first. Alright, I guess we crushed the ice into little pieces and it's now being transported on that conveyor thing. Giant ice crushing gears in here. Alright, another broken walkway. I hope there was nothing we needed to do with the ice while it was here. Because then we'd need to get another one now. Doesn't look like there's any way onto the ice conveyor. Oh, you can just... I think you can just barely see the first filled one go past the... behind the crane there. You can actually see where they start being filled. We do now have an infinite supply of ice, by the way. <laughs> this will never run out. Which is, uh... Not terribly realistic, but also convenient because it means you're not on the time limit or anything. Okay, well, we've turned the ice processor on. Not sure if we needed to or what it accomplished, but we did. Let's see what's up here. Looks like we can get to the crane. Um, let's see. There's definitely something on top of that giant ice block there, but I'm not sure how we would get there. These, I guess, lead down into the cabs, but let's look around first a little, see what we can see. I guess the ice is arriving at the dome-shaped building. Is it moving past that? I can't really tell. If the if it's moving, if the conveyor is still moving beyond the building. I don't know. Oh hey, that's the door we saw. It has a uh, socket on the other side, so we can open it. And I guess that's what leads to that bridge. Actually, it looks like we might be able to get there from. The other side, too, if that giant ice cube wasn't in the way. Which it is. Maybe we need to move it with the crane. Um, let's see if we can control this crane. First of all, it has two caps for some reason. Let's try this one. Hmm. 
Let's not go there. It's a long way down. Uh, yeah, that's how ladders work. I was trying to see if it would let me click on that side of the ladder to go down, but... It instead just decided <laughs> to take me up again on the other side. Alright, um... Again. OSHA doesn't seem to be a thing here in this world. Um... Socket here. Rotary train. We can go left and we can go right. Alright. Go left. Okay, yeah. As you would expect, it literally just rotates the train. Okay? And now we seem to be... Are we stuck on the building there? It's kind of hard to tell. Let's run. I don't like running in games, but... Yeah, we're stuck on the building. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But for this, I don't mind running because it's just going down a straight thing that we've already been down, so... This guy's getting on my nerves. Um, so I guess we're blocked there. I guess the diagram shows the crane, the circle thing in the middle, the cab I'm in, and then the platform above it. It is entirely useless. It sort of, sort of shows you the position of the cab, but it does not help you find like where it's blocked or anything. Let's see, we have a few more controls. We also have boom extension. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That is definitely what I expected that to do. Right now I can go further left, right? Oh, oh the, there's a third one, and it's lower and raise. Okay. Okay. We're stuck on the building again. Not what I meant to do. No. Okay. Can we not go further left? What are we blocked on? Is the question. I'm going to say we're not blocked here. I wonder, could I get up there? With the crane? I've never tried that. I'm going to try it. If it's useless, I'm sorry for wasting your time, but uh, I'm going to try. Let's see if we're blocked on this side, though. We very clearly are not. Wait. This top platform moved, yet the, the, the hole in the... for the ladder did not. I cannot visualize how this works. Can we see what happened to it if I... No! I wasn't even remotely clicking in the direction of the ladder. Guess I was too close to the ladder. Can we see what happens to the hole when we do this? When we... No, it just moves past it, but... How does the middle, unless it's like some kind of conveyor belt that loops around the underside of the crane so it can change its length by the ends, otherwise I don't really know how that works. Anyway, um, we're not blocked yet, we cannot go further left. Oh, I guess... The control itself is on a track that matches the position of the... The socket is on this track here, and that ends there, so that's why we can't go further left. Okay, I really want to see if I can get onto that platform there. Just for fun. Let's lower. How far can we lower, anyway? Can we get all the way to the ground? We are now blocked. Are we on the ground?
I don't know if we're on the ground, but it really doesn't want to let me get in there. This is as far down as it can go by the looks of it, though. It just doesn't want me to use that ladder to get out on that side. Which is kind of annoying. No, well, okay. I don't need to anyway at the moment. I was on a mission to see if I could get to a platform that I've already been to. Blocked. Eh, I don't think it's gonna let me. Nope, there's really no reason for that to be blocked, but... Whatever. See what I mean? This just looks like it's a metal plate that goes... ...all the way to the end, so... ...how does that move with the top when there's a hole in it? I don't understand. Okay, let's see what we can actually do with this crane. Um, let's go back up. Gives us a little bit more freedom of movement, I think. Less chance to be blocked by things. And let's turn. Oh, damn it, we're blocked again. This is going to get tiresome, isn't it? Yeah, we're b just blocked by the rock wall. That makes sense. wonder what the other cap... Presumably that one has the crane that controls for, like, the grabber. But... I don't know. Um, let's pull this backward, then. Can go further right again. I actually managed to completely avoid it this time for some reason, but you can actually break some of the icicles. Break the ones that are... It's too bad that that you know, debris just disappears. Would have been kind of funny if that just stayed there. That's as high as we can go. I don't know, it doesn't look like we can... ...clear the... Enjoying this too much, am I? Aren't I? All right. Well, that's pretty icicle free right now. But I think the unfortunately our yeah we can't break anything high enough up to affect that. That's blocking the ball. We could presumably get on that though with this crane. Hmm. Before I do that, though, I kind of want to look at the other side. Um, where are we here? 
kind of hard to tell. I think we are kind of near the where that ice cube is. I don't know if we can lift that out of the way. Let's give that a try. Um, let's see. Wait, actually. Yeah, that looks about right. Maybe a little more forward, but, uh... I'll take it. Okay. Um, we have the same controls here. Is there no, like, engage, disengage, hook control? It's lower. Bridges in our way. That's not helpful. We need to get to that ice block. I want to move that so I can get out we of the test. way. We test. All right. Wait, could I reach that? Is that reachable? Not from here. It's not. Maybe I can move it so I can reach it. Oh. Let's go backwards more. I'm down. Okay, backwards even more. Oh, we can't go further backwards. Down a bit more and... Let's just try to go down as far as we can here. Alright. I will get that ice cube. There, that should be doable, right? Yes. Bridge lowered. Both sides. Good. Now we should be able to get to the ice cube. With the crane. First, I guess. Um. Oh, it did. Did it grab it? It did. Let's raise that up. Can we put it down somewhere else? That's not going to work. Help. Let's go up first. Um, nope. We need to lower. And it let go. Nice. That means we can get past there now. Oh, it grabbed it again. That's not actually what I wanted, but I'm tr kind of hoping that I can actually get out of here. No, it doesn't look like we've even hit the ground. Let go. There, now we're all the way down. We're so far down that the crane is clipped into the ground. Oh my god, really? I don't know if this is a glitch or what. Why is it not letting me...
It really just doesn't want me to go down that way. Well, fine then. Whatever. Didn't want to go there anyway. By the way, first time I played it, didn't realize that you could actually pick this thing up. I think I tried, but it didn't really work for me. But there is another way <laughs> to solve this uh, puzzle, which I'm not sure if is intentional. But it does work. Oh, sounds like I'm hitting more icicles on the other side. You can actually position the crane such that you can reach that control on the big door. And that is another way of uh, getting there. Although I do think you need the... Uh, That's not what the troublesome keeper said. Anyway, um, although I think you might need the uh, the extension thing, like the d distance extension, to be able to do that. And give it a try, I guess. Since we're here anyway, you want to go as far forward as you can with this. Actually, you want to be on this side. And then lower. Until it won't let you. And... Then when you get here, there you go. Alternative puzzle solution, but yeah, I don't think you can make that without uh, having the extra distance. And actually, from what we've seen of the bridges so far, I don't think I would be able to get across this bridge, would I? I would try it if, you know, the game let me get out of here. It's really the only way to get back right now is to put the crane there. It's kind of a nonsense. But yeah, there you go. Alternative puzzle solution. Either way works. You can open the... You can either move the ice block or um, open the door. Although obviously you can't do that until later. Uh, but since it won't let me exit on the on the bottom, I'm going to. Uh, oh, why are you saying this is blocked? Oh, it's blocked behind a building, probably, because we're so low. Since you won't let me get out uh, on the base floor, let's try and get onto this ice block. That would be more productive than going back the way we came. I would think. Wait. Why can't I reach that now? That doesn't seem right. Why can't I go far enough right? I guess these are independent. Well, 
Let's see if that got me over far enough. It might have. It didn't, but looks like... No, I can't actually move further right here. Okay. Weird. I guess maybe you can make a full circle if you operate these one in ones individually. We don't need to, though. Make sure this is far enough forward. That's all the way. There we go. By the way, if you get this crane stuck such that it won't move at all anymore, which uh, I personally never experienced, but I've seen a lot of people that did, um, there is an option in the settings menus, which is teleport to safe spot. That doesn't just teleport you, it also resets the locations of things like this crane or the other ice crane. It can be very, very useful when you're in a pinch. And now we're up here. And it looks like that will take us elsewhere. Into this icy mountain. Looks like the path continues down there. Was that just wrong? Are we not going to get go take a ride on the the ice conveyor? I guess we can't now because those coverings are too low for us to sit on top of there. And there's no empty ones anymore. Oh well, at least we got the ride on the giant ice block. That was fun. And we got to operate giant cranes. That's also fun. I love operating big machinery in games. Um, but we'll see where this goes in the next video.